every day, we're just covered in it. Oh. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson went out with a scientist from the University of North Florida to test common items for bacteria so you can see how much is growing and where. And we're going to give a warning to sensitive viewers. If certain topics make you queasy, like worms that could be living on your cash in your wallet right now, this story might be a trigger. I stopped by UNF to try this frankly gross experiment. Looks like you got the gear ready. We're excited. I do, I do with our old friend, Dr. Dale Casamata, a biology professor at UNF. Everything we could possibly need for okay. some microbial samplings. We brought some items, some sterile swabs and Petri dishes, then headed out onto this journey into the microscopic and the gross. I think there is uh, an ATM in here we can try. Oh, if yes. If I see a woman with a purse, I may stop her. Okay. So we were off and started with this ATM. I put a little bit of the sterile saline on here, gotcha. uh, just so it absorbs better. I see that uh, I see lots of material already on my swab. Then it was off to the cafeteria, where we tested one of those electronic menus you order on. This would be a good one. It seemed to have a lot of fingerprints. Yeah, people don't realize how many of our electronics devices are just wonderful incubators for bacteria. I would imagine. Oh. And then this one that we've been told is gross. We didn't know if one of you would be okay if we took a swab of the bottom of your backpack or your purse. The bottom of women's purses. Are you surprised by that? No. You're not surprised? Why not? No, because we put our purses everywhere. Where are some places like you would set a purse? A table on the floor. We kept going to snack machines and drinking fountains. Uh, sometimes in your shower or around these water fountains, you'll see like a little bit of a pinkish residue. Uh -huh. uh, that is a, a whole group of bacteria making a little biofilm. That's when I know that it's clean to, uh, time to clean my shower at home. Let's do it quick. We also tested keyboards, cell phones, and hairbrushes. Something like 90% of all adult uh, males will have dandruff at any given time. Mm -hmm. And it is a very rich microbial community living on our scalp. What's the difference between male, male and female hair? Males have a lot more materials living in their hair, a lot more fungi. Oh. Next up is water bottle. Oh, water yes. bottle is one that a lot of people use. They put their hands all over it. And we just kept going onto makeup applicators, keys, and... This one is pretty unusual, but it's gonna hit close to home. Can we test my Channel 4 microphone here? <laughs> sure, sure. I don't know that we ever really <laughs> wash these things. All right. Now, one thing we didn't test, but our scientists kind of knew about was this, cash, which you'll notice I'm not using my hands on after the disgusting story he told me. Because you know what you find on this stuff? It's a type of worm that lives in, sorry, your butt, and it lays eggs on U.S. currency. So pinworms are these little tiny worms that live in your butt. Kids get them a lot. Oh my God, kids. we just went from bad to worse. It is horrifying how easily they are transported around. So we watched the clock and waited 48 hours. Then we went back to Dr. Casamata's lab to check on how much growth these things had. Now the fact that here I see just blobs of stuff and here I just see little tiny circles, is, does that mean anything? Those are the different organisms. Some organisms that we refer to as swarmers like to grow in large sheets. And that can be really significant because those organisms can sometimes cause problems for us. Um, they form biofilms and such. We were shocked at how much bacteria is growing. So door handle looks pretty <laughs> bad. Door handle is terrible. Surprisingly, the cell phone wasn't that bad, which Dr. Casamata thinks is an exception because most phones are teeming with growth. I am kind of amazed by this as well. You have perhaps the cleanest cell phone I have seen in the last several years. And believe me, it's not. I'm shocked by this. Uh, but here are some things that were pretty nasty. The bottom of a shoe and a purse were two of the worst. Bottom of the purse. All right, this is a good terrifying one. And this oh, is a great okay. illustration point of why you should never leave your purses on bathroom floors and such. Purses are horribly dirty kinds of places. This was a tiny swab we did. Here are the rest. Hair had a lot of growth. Computer keyboard was pretty bad. Water bottle, even though clean, had different growth not found anywhere else. The key we tested was actually pretty clean. The ATM buttons were very bad. Makeup applicators had a lot of growth. Drink dispenser buttons that you sell drinks at had a lot of growth too. The water fountain buttons seemed to have a good amount of growth. The food kiosk did too. 
And sadly for me, the top of our microphone was the worst. There's not even any space available on that plate for anything anymore. Dr. Casamata says when he first entered the biology world as a younger man, it actually made him a germaphobe. I have had moments when I first took microbiology as an undergrad, I was paranoid about going out to eat. I was paranoid about doing anything. But he eventually got over that. After a while, you know, you realize, well, this one's going to kill you anyway, so might as well be these guys. Yes, there is a lot of bacteria out there, but no, the vast majority is not dangerous. And a few other things we didn't test, but Dr. Casamata says he knows from his past that have growth, bowling balls. And as we documented here on News for Jacks, old pizza that sits out a few hours. If someone touches a piece but leaves the rest behind, now Dr. Casamata says most alcohol-based sanitizers will kill nearly everything we care about. So keep sanitizer handy and use it. Mm. So I thought it might have been over the top oh. at the beginning of the story. You said, oh, this might trigger uh, you. I've been triggered yeah. the whole time. Triggered the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so Scott, some of those things that you mentioned, uh, including gross stuff living on people's cash. All right, so maybe we need to know how it gets there so we can avoid getting it. So it can happen like, well, first I would say the only way is to use credit card all the time. But secondly <laughs> would be, um, you know, when you go to the gym and you're really hot, so what it can do is can transfer to your cash because your body cools down and these worms are nocturnal. So if your body's cooling down, they think it's night and the worms will come out without getting too graphic. Your hand touches different parts of your body, transfers to the cash, and there you go. Sorry to gross you out at dinner time, but it is what it is. Wow. All right. Thank you, Scott. You said sure thank guys. you. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I understand. <laughs>